Hello and welcome back my friends to the last days of the third age. Um, I spent just a very little time <laughs> doing some of the quests like the scouting quest of Gunbard and so far it has just been doing quest after quest after quest. Not really much different than anything else. Now I have to bring a message to um, Beridor Blackfall. Uh, it, what I like about this mod so far is that everyone that matters is clickable. You can click here and he'll tell you who he is. And you can go back and be at the Woodsman Village. So let's travel there. Uh, do Fair warning, I got the cheats enabled at the moment so I can jump to other, uh, other locations. I'll try not to do this too much because um, it's just not good enough for gameplay, but hey, uh, it is fun for me. Wait a minute, that's the wrong one, I believe. Um, yes, that's the wrong one. I failed my quest up there. I didn't really understood what I had to do. I had to move some refugees over there. I was there, I, I hear the money sound and all, but apparently you will hear that noise every time you enter a new town. Um, so let's go up there. Entering and let's go to the Bjorn house and I'm hoping that the guy is up here. Actually, it is very getting used to the the, the, the type of, of letters they've used. Um, no, nothing. Okay, where, where's this guy? Deliver message to Lord Bart to Beardo Blackfur. You're not him. Uh, but yeah, the, the letters, the how you, how you read the sentences and all that stuff, that, that could be difficult. Uh, but still, it's still, if you love doing like quest after quest, then this is definitely a mod for you to try out. And I haven't been playing this for so long and it is fun if you can follow like the entire storyline. Uh, let me ask you the location of uh, Blackfur. Woodman Village, great. I was going the right direction, uh, but yeah, I'm, 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 what I'm going and try to be doing in between this episode and next episode is um, I'm going to give myself a nice army, and once I did that, we are going to see if we can attack a few things, and that's probably almost going to be it. So. Okay, we can buy some rations here. We can even sell some of the rations. Approach the village. Stables, barracks. No. Hmm. You are absolutely not what I want. Is that guy that I'm looking for actually here? Not sure. The villages do look very authentic. They're so cool, that is completely something different than what you would have expect in, in normal Mountain Blade mods. So I got a message from the Lord Bard. Do you have anything to do? Send a letter, look at it, letter after letter after letter after letter. Sure, why not? I'm, I'm here to do your, your bidding. I'm here to do your, your messages. And, and this way we'll explore the entire realm and we have to be careful about some groups. Also, I did give myself a bit of an army, but I'm so worried that I just do not have the right uh, rest points. And most of them will eventually leave. Hmm. Let's bring you to nine. And weapon mastery. Two-handed weapons. Okay, done. So let's go there. Not much bandits around. Not much bandits around. And what the heck is this? Well, okay. Let's prepare to face them. Here I am. Saying there's not much bandits around and we're getting attacked. It's cool. Everybody here. Let them come up the hill. I'd rather have them fighting upwards than us. Do we have some archers with us? Not really. Well, not really. It's actually we don't. Everyone? 
Good charge. Come on. I'm just here to help my guys. Finally a battle, huh? Finally, I can do some other things than just talking. Talking about battle. There is something that's been a bit buggy and that is the, the fighting down. Your enemies flee in terror. <laughs> Who's that? Come on, just give me something. Just, just. Oh man. Okay, there's two. I got a feeling that we're never going to catch up with this guy. Well, maybe this is our opportunity. He is in the water. So he is slowed down. So we just have to wait. At the right amount. Also, the weapons are cool, but they're not completely in the hand. You didn't sound like an orc the first time I hit you. But oh, yes, we did. We managed. Oh, man. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we got some metal scraps. I've no clue what to do with this. No clue whatsoever. But it, it will give you plus 50. And I think that you might be able to give them to a faction of your choice. Could be, right? Why wouldn't it be? So, we are going to... And I also turn on the... Um, I'll show you in a second here. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, actions, teal the options, and there is this thing called town NPC always as, uh, accessible from menus. It is turned off by default, and even though I love going through those towns, I rather have that drop down menu, so I turn it on. So now we can say, we want to go to the barracks, we want to go to the law master, or approach the fortress. I think we might have to go to the law master. No, you're not the one that I need. We need Celebron, Celebron. No, Celebron. Cool. Visit the Elven Weapon Makers. Oh, wow. Look, can I sell this? Yes, I can. And we'll get some Lorraine um, rest points. Barracks. Let's go to the fortress. Holy crap. I do like that. I do like that. There's also this this very, very faint humming sound at the back. That's very interesting. I'm hoping the one that I'm looking for is just standing up here. And it does appear that... Are you the one? No, you're not the one. Hmm, that's somewhat annoying. Okay, fine, fine. Here we go. We're just going to be taking a look over here. That could be the person that we're looking for, but I just don't know. Let's move up there. Let's explore this, um, this town, this fortress. If you have to defend this, you're going to have a bloody hard time. Unless you got like crap ton of archers there at the uh, at the ends, but there's there's no real fortification. Yeah, you're the supply master. You're the last person I needed. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Celebron's party. He is here, but there's not much we can do with him. I can't find him. Man, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Will he be leaving? Is he? Did he leave now? No, Celebrant's party. He, he must be here. He must be. Oh, now we can find the main square. Yeah, th this is sometimes so confusing me. It's probably where we were just... Yeah, where we were. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this. Because I, I can see myself getting lost for so bloody long. Who the heck are you? You're a warehouse dude. Cool. I have already am lost actually because I can't find a guy. That's a bit of a shame. 
and I'm just wandering in circles hoping that we can find this person of interest. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, for me personally, the mod is not pulling to me. Not at all. Uh, there's a few reasons for that. One, reading and me, that, that's not something I want to do you. Uh, do for you because my English isn't that good. Uh, I think it's fairly okay. It's it's probably better than my Dutch, but still. Man, I hate this. I really do not like that we have to find it at all. I have no clue where to look. No clue where to bloody look. What I need is just. That, that throne room where all the lords gather if they're there. And you got the barracks, you got the resource, you got indoor for time. Yeah, that, that's so cool, but not what I need. Not what I need at all. What I need is a crap ton of enemies. And hopefully. Oh, look at that, the gates of Mora. Oh my. I would love to start attacking some of these things. And I think that eventually in, in the game, let's go back here. That eventually in the game you'll, you'll get into the storyline that probably triggers at a certain um, time. That is not here at the moment. Let's go to King Dane. Lord's Chamber. He's just standing there. Uh, but it will trigger like the quest line, the storyline. I think that's just fantastic. He has no time. He has no special item. Give to our allies? Ask you something? Well, what I could try doing is selling. I might be making the biggest mistake of my life here. Let's just sell that over there. And what we can do is Dwarven Smith. And see what kind of weapons do we actually have around here. Like, this is a pole arm. It's a weird ass pole arm because it uses the same thing as, um, well, as a one handed and a two handed weapon. It's actually rather expensive. Let's get some, some, some of this stuff. There we go. But it, it, that's the thing that I'm worried about the most is there's not much for me to go and do apart from all of these quests there's very very little enemies and you can see here the party size of the enemies is like 10 to 17 it doesn't really feel like a war party now does it but if you are interested in seeing like the entire we're going to help the Dale Scouts, by the way. But if you want to see the things that are going on more, then I suggest going to my buddy Diet Vegan. He has a series of it, uh, running one time per week. Uh, but let's go. Because I really don't feel that I am interested in doing a full-time series on this. Come on. Right, and we leveled up. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, there's some cavalry remaining. That's going to be annoying unless they walk themselves right into my lines. But I think they're escaping. If he ventures out too far, he's definitely escaping. Well, maybe not. Well, we did win. That is nice. Thank you for your help. Yes, I'm here to help. Let's capture you. Let's enlist you. Although, I don't know. It's very difficult for me to see what type of, uh, of points they need. Um, you. Dale Arm Guy. This one. Um, more Warriors. Why not? So, okay, let's, let's hope that we can find at least someone else to fight. There you go, tribal orcs. Wow, speed of 3.1. 
I've never been that slow and I'm thinking that I'll probably have too many too many orcs here hmm as for a first impression yeah like I said this is not on top of my list I'm hoping that you guys that are playing this are really liking it. It's, it's, an, it's an old mod. I believe that the mod came out in 2011 and the final update was in 2014, 2015. So yeah, it's, it's a bit down on its luck. That's a bit of a shame. It's just me wandering around at the moment. Let's see. The, let's do this. I'm going to end the episode up here. I'm probably going to end the first impression of this one. Because it doesn't impress me. Not as much. So, always leave in the comment section mods that you want me to take a look at. It could be an extensive look, could be like this, that I'm just like, yeah, this is not for me. It happens. It happens. It's my first, first, my very first, first impression. Wow, that's tried saying that three times in a row. Don't type that down, please. You know that's not working like that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you for your patience, for your understanding and your appreciation, I hope. And I'll see you next week with a new first impression of a mod that you have suggested. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.